to meet you. So I've seen Get a Horse. Great. Love it. Absolutely fantastic. So Get a Horse is unfinished footage from 1930s Walt Disney, right? No. 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 Oh. <laughs> uh, it, we actually carefully, uh, everything that you see in the short is actually new. Oh. The, the idea, the concept, the storyboard, the story, and the animation was all done at Disney in the last 18 months. So we basically tried to make it look as much like that earlier Mickey, so that when he came out of the screen into color and CG uh, and into the theater that you're in, it gave the audiences in the theater the biggest surprise that we could give. Oh, well, that's, so a bad you were that's a bad rumor that's going around. They say it's unfinished footage from Walt no, Disney. No. He's going to win an Oscar. No, so, I, 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 you're going to win an Oscar. <laughs> and I guess uh, it would be really lovely if the, the 2D guys, there are some very, uh, very accomplished and... Legendary, legendary uh, Disney animators working at the studio in 2D now, and they need the credit for what they did, which is a, a great job. So what I loved about the short was the transition to the three you know, CGI characters, because sometimes translation, they're not as realistic, they look completely different, but I thought they were spot on. So tell about the process of designing those. Yeah, it was, you know, it was uh, a really well thought out process <laughs> when Lauren, her vision was to make sure that when they were being, you know, on the screen in black and white and hand drawn, and when they popped through to the screen to stay the same look as 1928, 1929 Mickey. And uh, we worked and we, you know, in, in our our artists are meant to make everything look perfect. But this, we didn't want it. We wanted it to be authentic to back in the day. So we had to do a, like, a rough, dirty pass. We had to do a film damage pass. Um, we kind of made the we characters had to add mistakes, yeah. actually, because that made the 2D stuff look more realistic. Because they made the shorts so quickly that uh, they would rush, and and there'd be like, a, you know, a, for a frame, Mickey's tail pops off, or yeah. that kind of thing. Uh, yeah. yeah, the camera would shake, so we'd make sure that we had like little, little light flickers and, and not make the characters register to the ground, like the would be off a little bit. Um, and it was hard for artists to do that because you have to say, don't make it perfect, which they're used to doing. Yes, yeah. yeah. and so they got it, and also we we tried to adapt the style of animation from, from that 1928 look to, to CG, pull it into the modern era. Oh, we and like so I thought, hey, we make it time like the lost short. Um, do a whole new story about like saying that looks like it was made in 1928, and then you literally pull it out of the screen into color and CG. 3D would really help right about then, and into the theater that you're in. And that just did such a great thing for Mickey because it eliminates all those decades in the middle where he was he had a mortgage on a house in Burbank. And he was always going back to, the top of the to Pluto for some reason. So that's what I said. So, uh, so what was the timeline from start to finish, concept to final? It was about 18 months from start to finish. We had about 125 artists um, that worked on it, and we did everything in Burbank in the studio. Um, everything's new, you see on the screen, and like Lauren mentioned, and uh, it's a great tiny little team that we, uh, a little bit under the radar and just kind of minding our own business, and, and did it. The right body's white, must be Olaf. Must be Olaf, must be Olaf the snowman.